guys, welcome Yoga Shli here. Um, so today I want to give you guys a quick 30 minute all levels vinyasa flow. So this is a great video for someone who doesn't have a lot of time in their day to exercise or move their body, do their yoga practice. So um, this could be a great video for you. Um, if you have that little sliver of time throughout the day where maybe you can get it in in the morning before you go to work or uh, maybe in the evening, you know, when you come home from work, in between, before dinner, um, just to be able to have some time to connect and move your body a little bit. Okay, so uh, what we'll need is just your yoga mat and uh, you don't need any blocks or props, but I always urge everyone, blocks are wonderful, they're very helpful. Um, so if you have them, you can go ahead and grab those. Um, maybe a pillow just to sit on for the beginning of our class and then we'll meet on your mat when you gather all those things up and create your space that you want to move in. So go ahead and find your seat onto your mat. So you can grab your block or your pillow or just take a seat right down onto the floor. Maybe you cross your legs, maybe not, maybe you stretch your legs out in front of you. But wherever you land, go ahead and just take a moment to actually wiggle into your seat. And then closing the eyes down, just resting the hands down wherever that feels comfortable to you. Sitting up nice and tall as we ground down through the sit bones and find that energetic lift up through the crown of your head. And just taking these next few moments to fully arrive here and land on your mat. And tuning in to your body saying if anything at all comes up for you right away. Whatever does come up for you, see if we can acknowledge those things without adding, adding any judgments or expectations. Just let it be. Allow yourself to be exactly as you are without changing a thing. sinking a little bit deeper into your space. Let's take a big breath in and just reach your shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhale, rolling them back away from the ears. Do that a couple more times. Inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears. And exhale down towards the floor. One more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, relax the shoulders. I'm gonna be doing a three-part breath, so you can keep a soft gaze or just close your eyes here. We'll bring both hands onto the belly. And as you take your next inhale, we're gonna start breathing into the belly, so fill it up just nice and slow, almost like a balloon. And then exhale, let that go and squeeze out the whole breath as you tone in the belly. And again, a big breath in, filling up the belly. Exhale and squeeze the breath out. Just one more time, inhale. And exhale. Next, we'll bring our hands onto our ribs. And your next inhale, breathing right into the rib cage as you expand the ribs apart. 
exhale, let it go. Good, two more times, breathing in. Exhale. One more time, breathing right into your hands. And exhale. Next time we'll bring our hands over our heart center onto our chest. We'll take a big breath in all the way up into the heart space. And exhale, let it fall. Inhale, notice this rise, this popping up of the chest. And exhale, let it go. Just one more time, breathing in. And exhale, let it go. Good, we'll bring our hands onto our knees. Sit up nice and tall, we'll put that whole breath together. So let's take a big breath in, fill up into the belly. Ribs. Heart. And exhale, let it go. Squeezing out the breath. Again, breathe it in. All the way to the top. Let it go. Squeeze the belly. One more time into the belly. Ribs. Heart. Let it go. Squeeze it out. Take a big breath in, fill all the way up. Let it go. Your longest breath in. Holding at the top just for three, two, and one. Exhale, long breath out. And big breath in. Hold at the top for three, two, maybe taking a little more sip of air, and one, let it go. Take one more big breath in. Open the mouth, clear it away. A moment just to be still with yourself right here. Maybe cultivating an intention for your practice. And that can be a word, it can be a phrase, maybe something that you really need to hear today, something that you're working on. And then we'll take the hands at heart center at prayer just to seal that intention in with the sound of OM. So if you'd like to join here, we'll take an inhale right to OM. Allow your body to feel held, 
So feel supported right here. Take one more breath in and out. Big breath in. Let it go. Walk the hands over to the right front corner of the mat. Stretch a little bit longer through the left fingertips, breathing into your left side body here. Side stretch. Good. One more breath. Making our way back through center and over to the left front corner of your mat, stretching a little bit longer through your right fingertips. Take one more full breath in and out. Walk the hands back through center and in underneath the shoulders. Pressing up to a tabletop. We're in our hands and knees. Hands are underneath the shoulders. Fingers spread wide. Knees right underneath the hips. We'll inhale and drop the belly. Taking gaze forward. And as you exhale, round the spine and press the mat away. Lifting through the center of your back. Follow your breath. Inhale, drop the belly. Arch the back for cow. Exhale, round it out for cat pose. Take one more round of cat and cow. Big breath in. Big breath out. So we're going to continue this. We're going to add the right leg. So as you inhale, drop the belly. Stretch your right leg back towards the back of your space. Kick out through the heel. And then as you exhale round and draw knee in towards your nose or chest. Inhale, stretch nice and long, drop the belly. Exhale, round it out, knee to nose, crunch it in. One more time like that. Inhale, get long. Exhale, round and press the mat away. Stretch that right leg long to the back of your space. And then we'll bend into the right knee. So flexing the foot. We're going to pump it up to the sky. A little engagement for the right glutes. Pump it up for just five. Four. Stay with your breath. Three. Two. And then just one more. Good, let's keep the knee lifted. Open it up to the side, kind of like a peeing dog. I know it's not the best visual. We'll drop it down knee to knee and then lift back up like that for five, four, three, two, one more. Good, and gently let that go. Come back to your tabletop. Maybe you drop the knees a little side to side here. Any kind of movement in between. And then coming back to our cat cows, just setting it up on the other side. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine. Adding the left leg in as you drop the belly. We'll lift your left leg up and back. Shine your heart forward. Exhale, knee to nose, round it out. Press the ground away. Two more times. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, knee to nose. One more time. Inhale. And let it go. Okay, we'll stretch long just one more time. Press out through that left heel. Make sure we're pressing down evenly through both hands. And then bend the knee. The sole of the foot is facing up to the sky. We're going to pump this up. Lifting up, engaging that left thigh for five. Focus on the breath. Four. Nice and slow and controlled. Three. Two. One more. Good, keep it lifted. Open this up to the left hand side. Peeing dog for five, four, 
three, good, two, take one more lift, and one, come back to your tabletop, maybe you circle the hips, a little forward to back, maybe take a couple more cat and cows, your choice here, any movement that resonates with you. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to take the hands about a handprint forward on the mat, setting up our down dog, tuck the toes, lift up and back. Find your, dog, uh, your down dog shape that works for your body today. Feet are hip width distance apart, the hands are shoulder width apart, fingers spread wide and rooted into the earth. Maybe you walk your dog a little bit here. Pedaling out the legs one at a time. Go as slow as you like here. Finding some stillness. Rooting your heels down as you drop your belly back towards your thighs. Finding that lift all the way up the spine. We'll start to look forward, take a big breath in, bend the knees, and on exhale, we're going to walk to the front of the mat, take as many steps as you need to get there, separate the feet hip width distance apart, and bow your head towards the earth. Maybe you find a rag doll here in this forward bends, finding opposite elbows, maybe there's a little bend in the knees, a little conversation with gravity as you shift your weight forward to back side to side. Releasing the hands down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands can stay connected. They can come to the shins or the thighs. Take one more breath in here. And exhale to fold. Again, halfway lift. Lengthen out. And exhale, fold. And one more time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold down. Bend the knees, we're gonna rise all the way up to standing. Let the head be the last thing as you reach the arms up overhead. Root down and rise up. Hands to heart center at prayer. Stay for a breath in. And out. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we're going to step both feet back. Come to a high plank or push-up position. So the shoulders are right over the wrists. The heels are pressing back. We're engaging through our, through our core and really pressing them out of way. Let's hold here just for three. You've got this. You can always bring the knees down to modify. Two. And on one, we're gonna lower the knees down and glide your chest and chin forward towards the mat. Right through to baby cobra, we're on our belly, elbows tucked in the sides, engage through the legs. And exhale, forehead comes down. Inhale, press back through tabletop. And exhale, downward facing dog. Settling back in, take a couple more breaths here. Okay, one more breath in. Bend the knees on, exhale, you can walk for a big step forward in front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart. Stay for the breath in. And out. Arms reach up. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Hop or step back. High plank. Maybe this time you lower just Halfway and pause at Chaturanga. And then on your inhale, upward facing dog. 
on the tops of the feet, shoulders align over the wrists, and exhale, downward facing dog. Stay here for about five breaths or so. Ease it out. Take a moment to reconnect with your intention, your word, your phrase, whatever that might be. Forward, take a big breath in. Bend the knees on exhale. Hop, step, or walk to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Rise, very fast. Fasten the arms up overhead. Extend the mountain. Hands to the heart. Exhale. Stay for the breath in. And out. Inhale, arms reach high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, hop or step back. High to low push up. Inhale into your heart opener. And exhale to downward facing dog. Couple more breaths here. Okay, beautiful, you guys. Let's go ahead and lift our right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Find that extension out through the heel. Toes are dialing down. Hips are square. We're going to take a big breath and look forward. Exhale, lift off the back heel and step in between the hands. And we're going to spin that back heel down. The heel should be in alignment here. And then using your core, we're going to slowly rise all the way up to our warrior one. Now, if this stance is too far apart, you can step that back leg in just a pinch closer. And that way, we can really track the right knee forward over the ankle. Our hips and our shoulders are square to the front of the mat. We reach the arms up overhead, lifting through the heart space. Take one more breath in right here. On the exhale, we'll fan the hands down. Frame the front foot. Step both feet back. High to low push-up. Inhale, shine your heart. And exhale, downward facing dog. I'm going to move right to the other side, lifting left leg up and back. Find that extension out through the heel. Take a big breath in, look forward. On exhale, lift off the back heel. Take a big step in between your hands. Spin the back heel down. Engage your core and rise all the way up, warrior one. Feel free to adjust your back leg a little closer. Sometimes that's really helpful here. Relax the shoulders. Nice healthy bend into the front knee. Lift your heart up. Take one more breath in. And exhale, hands come all the way down. Frame the front foot. Step both feet back. Move through your vinyasa. You always have the option to skip it and meet right back at down dog. It's always tuning in, checking in to see what your body really needs in this very moment. Okay, we're gonna lift right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. This time, bend the knee and open up your hip. Maybe you circle out the knee a couple times. Maybe you circle the ankle a little bit here. Take one more breath in. On exhale, a big step forward. Warrior one again. Spin the back heel down. Rise all the way up. Reach through the fingertips. Lift through the heart space. And then we're going to interlock the fingers behind your low back, finding a bind here. You can always use a strap behind you. We're going to inhale as you lift the heart, lift your gaze. And then as you exhale, 
Exhale, tilting this forward, and maybe bring your right shoulder to the inside of the right knee. Let that bind fall away from you. And then draw the hips back into center, grounding down through the feet. Humble warrior. Take one more breath right here. Nice shoulder stretch here. Let the head relax. Okay, using your core, we're going to start to slowly lift ourselves all the way back up to warrior one. And then opening it up to warrior two. Settling in to notice where the feet are. The hips and shoulders are wide open to the left. Check where those arms landed. Should be straight forward to back. Shoulder height. So relax the shoulders a bit here. And then send your gaze over the front fingertips. A nice big bend into the front knee. I'm going to pause here just a few breaths. A little engagement through your core. Feel the tailbone rooting down. Maybe a lightness through the whole upper body here. So energy surging out through the fingertips, out through the crown of your head. Soften your gaze. Steady your breath. And then we're going to lean forward, like you're going to reach for something in front. And then bring your right uh, elbow to right knee, or thigh. Lift up through the left hand. Extend inside, extended side angle pose here. So you're welcome to stay right here. I'm going to give you a couple options. If you have a block, you can take that block down to the inside of the right foot. And then you can really focus on that, sinking the hands, bending into that right knee. And then press your arm against the leg there. Feel like you want to draw your left shoulder back, lift your heart up towards the sky. Another option, if you want to really spice this up today, you can lift off the right hand and reach it forward in front of you, almost like you're holding a massive beach ball. We're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, and on one. Let's close this up. Left hand comes down, spin off the back heel. And then step both feet back to your high plank, flowing through your vinyasa. Good, we'll meet back at down dog. Take your time with this transition. And a couple of breaths right here. And then we'll bust out the other side real quick. Okay. Left leg floats up and back. Three-legged dog. Bend the knee. Open up your hip. Maybe finding some movement here. Some knee circles. Some ankle rotations. Look forward. Take a big breath in. On exhale, big step forward. Spin the back heel down. Set up your warrior one and rise up. Lifting through the heart, adjusting your feet as needed, reach through the fingertips. And then interlace the fingers behind your low back. Puff up the heart, take one more inhale. On your exhale, tilt this forward, maybe bring left shoulder to, to the inside of the left knee. As you bow towards the earth, the bind floats away from you. Relax the head and bring the hips back into midline, back into center. Take one more breath here. Using your core, we're going to slowly draw yourself back, back to standing. Back to your warrior one, releasing the hands. And then open this up, warrior two. Beautiful, you guys. Adjust the feet as you need here. Notice where the arms landed, soften the shoulders, nice big bend to the front knee, feeling this connection, this grounding down through your feet, and a lightness through your upper body, opening up through the heart, through the collarbones, 
Setting your gaze over the front fingertips. Full breaths in, full breaths out. Okay, from here, reach, reach, reach forward. Left elbow to left knee, right arm high to the sky. Set this up how you want. Either stay right here, maybe you grab your block for the inside of the foot and then press the leg and the arm together as one. Maybe you spice this up like two or three jalapenos more and reach your left arm forward. Hold that big beach ball here for five. Stay with your breath, four, three, two, and on one, let this go. Plant the hands down, step both feet back, high to low push up. Inhale, shine your heart. And exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, beautiful, you guys. Let's lower the knees down. And then just swing your legs forward. Come down into your bum. We're going to move on to our back and just wind this down. Let's go ahead and bring the soles and the feet together. And open the knees wide like a book. Supta Bhattakonasana. A little bit cooling here. You can just rest the arms down by your sides, away from the body. A little bit more connection. Bring your hands onto your body. And close your eyes. Notice any sensations, any feeling, any buzzing in your body. Maybe you've created a little bit more heat here. Using your hands to help draw the knees back together. We'll stretch your right leg up to the sky and then cross right ankle over left knee, figure four. So you can stay right here or if you have further to go, um, reaching the arms around the back of the left thigh as you hug your left knee in towards you and energetically open your right knee away from you. So let that drive, that force come from the knees here. The hands are just for support. Let your head and shoulders relax here. And then gently release, switching sides, left leg up to the sky. Cross left ankle over right knee. Take this where you need to go. Hugging your right knee in, left knee out and away from you. Feel free to take extra movement here. Maybe swing side to side. Massaging your back a little bit. And then gently let that go. Okay, we'll just take one quick happy baby and then come into our shavasana. So let's hug the knees in and reach for the outsides of the feet, drawing the knees in towards your armpits, grounding your sacrum down into the earth. Let your head and shoulders relax here. And just breathe. Again, if you want to take some movement, if that helps you create some more space in your body. Three, two, listening into that. Okay, when you're ready, we'll start setting up for Shavasana. Stretching the legs out long, resting the arms out by your sides. And we'll just be here for just about one minute. Now normally I would love to give you a longer Shavasana and if you have time to do that, please do. But just keeping in mind this quick video for people in a time frame. 
We'll do a short one today. So allow your shoulders to sink in. Notice this natural shape of your body. Where the feet might flop out naturally. And the fingers curl. The shoulders melt into puddles onto the earth. Relax the eyes, relaxing the muscles in between the brows. Unclench your jaw, relax your tongue. And taking these next couple of moments just to be here, do nothing but be.